All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today we're going to be doing the tank affinity strat that I discussed uh, in my last video for the nuke strat for Spider's Den 20. So, I always have to say this though this guide assumes that you have all of your champions maxed out, including uh, artifacts plus 16, ascension, masteries, things like that. We will be going over artifacts for this because artifacts are very important for Spider's 20. Um, compared to any other of the dungeons. So I thought this strat was 100% win rate, but it's it's around like above 50%. But that should be okay as long as you guys complete the mission to get Arbiter. So spider mechanics were discussed in my previous video, so we will be skip, skipping that, but I will post a picture, uh, one that I made uh, regarding the spider mechanics on the screen. So I'll leave that on for a bit. So the good thing about this, uh, the tank affinity strategy is it does not require any legendaries and can also be cleared with an uncommon uh, champion, which is Armager. You guys will have seen that in this video. Uh, yeah, we'll be going over that guy later. So yeah, legendaries are not needed for the strat, but they will make it much easier and a faster clear time for sure. So no specific sets are required other than the life seal set for the tank. And uh, please note to increase your win rate, make sure the champions are maxed out, as I said before, including skills, artifacts, and masters. And we'll go over those champions that is on my brother's account. So shout out to Killa Cass. Uh, for providing us with this his account. So before we begin, I also want to give another shout out to uh, Dyron on Reddit. So he, my brother's um, clear was based on his guide. Uh, soul credits go to him. Well, it is kind of modified a bit, but it was just it's like the same framework though. So I just want to spread the message through uh, video form. So let's discuss a role. So we only need three champions that can reduce turn meter and should be 100% chance to proc. So for this role, 200 plus accuracy is the way to go. So three champions with this role. So my brother is using Armager. So the good news is he's an uncommon champion. So he is great for this uh, role because his basic attack can decrease turn rate by 30% if he crits. He also has an ability that can deal damage based on enemy max HP, which is great for this dungeon. And uh, let's look at his artifacts real quick. So he's running six crit damage artifacts. So you can get those from Fire Nice Castle. He's got crit rate percentage as the primary and uh, defense percentage as the chest play. So this guy is a defense based champion, which is great because his damage is based on his defense and uh, speed boots. So we can take a look at his total stats. So he's got 2,548 defense. So he is uncommon, so he doesn't scale uh, as well as rares, epics and legendaries. 96% crit rate. You want to get that as close to 100% as possible and 206% crit damage. And as you can see, this uh, skills are ma maxed out. If you guys are not interested in the stats or the um, the way you upgrade your guys, you guys can go ahead and skip to um, the actual fight, but it's better off getting the information so that you know uh, what makes it doable. So he's going for the offense and support tree, so he wants some accuracy, so that's why he's going to this route. I won't be going over very specific, but I will go over the important ones. So you're going to need flawless execution, flawless execution for that crit damage plus 20% to do more damage. You can also go for single out, increase damage inflicted targets with less than 40% HP by 8%. And bring it down. So this guy, has, Spider, has higher max HP, so he's gonna be doing more damage. So that's the way to go with Armager is uh, Tayrell. So Tayrell's Hey Three decreased turn rate by fifty percent, and he also brings other utility into the fight. So let's look at his artifacts real quick. So he's running him uh, CB build, Clan Boss build. So he's running with four life steal and uh, two defense. So primary here we got defense percentage, HP percentage for the chest, and speed for the boots. So we can take a look at the total stats real quick: thirty-seven thousand HP. 2234 defense, 206 speed. Uh, that is very good. 240 debuff accuracy. So yeah, having accuracy is very good for, for this fight, uh, for that role. What was Armager's accuracy? 115. So it is kind of on the low end, but that's that should be fine. So the reason why his accuracy is this 115 is because he is going to be running big on. So he's going to be running him as lead. So his leadership ability, his aura skill, his ally accuracy in dungeons by 90, uh, which is pretty huge. <laughs> So that's Tyrell's over 300 accuracy. Uh, that's crazy. So we're going to be discussing replacement, but I'm going to show you guys uh, what my brother is using. So Big Guns is, is the third champion in this role. So I know he is a legendary, not a lot of people have him. So we're going to be discussing substitutions for the three champions in this role. And you can mix and match. So as you can see, he's running Savage. I think this is an arena build. So this is an arena build. So he is running that in arena. <laughs> and he's been with a one star. Um, Banner with accuracy because he doesn't have anything else, but he's still able to do this fight. So he's got a lot of attack, 136 plus 90 accuracy. So that's uh, over 200 already. And 162 speed. 
So yeah, Big Gun is a beast, AoE is everywhere. And he can also uh, decrease turn meter and placing stuns. So he is very good. He can also decrease the accuracy of the spiderlings. You can also decrease the accuracy of the spiderlings so they can so they have a less chance to land uh, poison on your affinity tank. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the masteries. Uh, he's running defense and offense for him, but I know a lot of people don't have him have big guns, so we're gonna skip over his artifacts. I mean his masteries. One thing we forgot to mention is Tayrell's uh, masteries. So yeah, he is running him for clan boss, so he's gonna go down for war master. And he's going to go for the accuracy stuff. So let's talk about substitutes. So you guys know uh, Cold Heart is a good sub for this. You guys seen what she can do if you guys watch my first video. So I would recommend using her in this slot. Uh, Silar, she is also hard to get, but she's designed for this fight with her AOE and all her abilities. And she can also place decreased speed and decreased turn meter by 40% on her A3. Lua, she is great with her ability to fully deplete turn meter on A3. And she can basically attack all enemies on her on her basic attack when she crits. Uh, another guy is Royal Guard. So to a lesser extent, he is capable of reducing trim on his A3, but it hits at random. So, uh, the same thing can be said about Allure, who can also be a sub to both to a lesser extent for this role. So I wouldn't really highly recommend them, but Royal Guard is a good option because he has a damage based on enemy max HP. So you guys can look at the graph that I made for more information on replacements. I don't want to go over too many of them because it's going to take a long time to get through this. So let's talk about the affinity tank roll. So the lifesteal set is for this champion and this role is supposed to be get is supposed to get targeted constantly by the AI due to affinity disadvantage. So they should be tanking all of the spiders. So the ideal tank should have abilities that can contribute to their survivability. So they should be dealing damage to combine with their lifesteal set uh, or healing on A2 or even capable of slowing down the enemy team. So 200 plus resistance is a must to resist all of the poison stats from the spiderlings. Uh, 2000, 2500 plus defense, 60 to 70k plus HP. So my brother is using Sinesha for this role. Uh, she has an AOE on her A1, plus she has two heals and decent stats for defense. So let's take a look at her artifacts and masteries real quick. He's running her life steals. I said you need life steal. And it's very hard to get her resistance up to 200 plus without her resistance set. So I highly recommend using that. So he's running speed on the boots for the primary, defense percentage on the chest plate, and HP percentage on the gauntlet. Let's take a look at her stats. As I said before, she needs to have a lot of HP, a lot of defense, speed is 176, resistance to over 200. So that's good. She meets the gear requirements. Skills are not maxed out. So that is pretty surprising that he's able to do this. So the most important thing for this war master for sure. And the most important thing on defense tree is retribution. So she has a 50% chance to counterattack when she loses 25% of her max HP or more from a single enemy skill. So if with life steal, every time she reaches that threshold, she's going to be countering and then getting all her health back and then she's going to keep going. So that's why it's very important. That is how the strat works. And my brother is using Valkyrie to decrease the decrease the RNG. So it's a 50% chance, but with Valkyrie, it's going to be 100% chance to counterattack. So if you do not have Sinesha, uh, you can try these champions as uh, subs. So we have Lich. He's not the best choice due to his weaker life steal potential. But if that's all you have, then go for it. Uh, Shatterbone. So this guy is a great choice for this role. He has turn meter manipulation on his A2 and A3. But since his defensive stats are low, he will need higher gear requirements to achieve the necessary stats. So, so far, if you guys haven't noticed, every single of one of our tank is, is going to be a force affinity because it's a disadvantage. Uh, Infernal Baroness. So she would be my top choice if I had her. Well, this is not even my account, but she would be my top choice. She has an AOE on her basic attack that will constantly heal her. And now that her damage is based on defense, she will be doing a much better job on Spiders 20. So for more subs, you guys can refer to my list that I will have right on the screen. And the last slot, there's still one more slot. So that's going to be filled with either a speed buffer or a speed lead champion, a counterattack champion. So anything that can support your team. So you have any as long as it's not. So as long as you don't don't use Skull Crusher, that will, <laughs> everything will be OK because his affinity is force. And then they will target him and ruin the tactic. So I would recommend Apothecary for this role. And my brother uses Valkyrie since he has her. She can uh, keep his tank countering without having to rely on that defense tree mastery, as I said. And uh, let's talk about speed for a second. So if your champions do not have at least 200 speed, the spiralings will overwhelm you. And without AOE speed debuffers, the number is even higher. So having a speed booster and speed aura or speed aura can help alleviate some of that stress. So healing, most teams will be OK, but a clutch heal can come in handy. So again, Apothecary is a great choice. And uh, yeah, let's head on to the battle. 
So I'll show you guys a pre-recorded battle. So that is gonna be a win, since this is not 100% win rate as I said. I think it's a little bit above 50%, and it should take around five to six minutes.
you guys found this video helpful or entertaining in any way, make sure you guys drop a like, share this with your clan. This is probably one of the best ways of clearing spiders 20 without having too much of the choir champion yeah and yeah make sure you guys drop a like it helps me out a lot you guys don't know how much helps me out it makes my video uh, appear for people to watch recommended becomes recommended and make sure you guys comment down in the comment section did were you guys able to beat spiders 20 following my guide if you guys are going to be following my guide and if you guys are new to the channel you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button and while we're at it make sure you guys enable notifications to stay up to date on all my latest content and as always i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video